to replace? What, what's it looking like right now? Uh, first of all, I don't know uh, how you replace those guys. Yeah. Uh, I'm excited about how the young guys are working right now. Uh, their development's coming along really well. Uh, Josh Myers is, is having a heck of a spring. Nick Petit having a heck of a spring. Wyatt Davis having a heck of a spring. Nice. Uh, Bowen's getting back into the swing of things. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that. Josh Allaby's missed four practices in a row now with the flu. So I wanted him to get some work. So And that's been out, so I haven't been able to get a, as good a look. Uh, Gavin Cup is coming along. Uh, so I like where we're at right now. Replacing them? Well, I don't know. I'll tell you, that's hard. That was a lot of experience. Are you Mark, looking you for Josh five or ten or twelve or what do you? Do you have five? Do you have a starting? You? I mean, no. Depth wise, what? Depth wise, you're right still now, fighting. Oh yeah, we're still fighting. That. There's no question. And uh, with with Fager being out again, yeah. This spring, that, that's another blow to another guy. So, but the good news is, those young kids get a ton of reps, and that's exactly what you probably have in the spring is to get those young guys as much repetition as they can get to get better. And then you know we'll get Fager back in the fall. And, you know, Coach Day was just Myers. talking about like how well Josh Myers is playing this oh, spring. Yeah. Just how, how important was that to get that center position solidified for you guys? Mm -hmm. That was a huge worry and a concern of all of us when Mike decided to leave. And now that Josh has stepped in and really, you know, taken the bit and he is just he's doing excellent. He's making the calls. And again, I told you, it really before the before we practiced and went to the Rose Bowl, I really felt confident in that kid. I told you, I think he made it made some work, something click during ball practice before we left and went out there. And, and, and his mindset, everything about him, how he carries himself, everything changed. And so I'm so confident now. Now after watching him nine practices, I really think he's going to be exceptional. Harry know? Miller's learning by correspondence. It sounded like Ryan was just talking about yeah, we the video work. back yeah. and forth. Yeah, when we so meet. how are you bringing him along? Just by watching, he, he watches everything we do. Every time we meet, I got those guys in here on FaceTime video. That's so true. as we're meeting, they're on FaceTime watching it. And then he watches all the practice film. We talk on the phone or talk on FaceTime during the meetings. And we go over it. So when he gets here, hits the ground running, he knows exactly what to do. Can he compete immediately? I mean, what, what's your what's your? I have a gut feeling that he can. Yeah. That's all okay. I can say. Why, Greg? I mean, just what just, stands out about him in that regard? You know, he's, he's, he's mature. He's strong. I think he did. They did. They did a bench test and they send it in the mix. He did 225, 26 times. Mm -hmm. I'm watching guys at the combine. And guys work out that don't even get that. Mm -hmm. So that's another thing that tells me he's really smart. You know the fact that he's on there breaking the plays, studying the <coughs> film, calling me at night. Coach, what happened on play 19 in period six? That tells me he's got a chance. Mm -hmm. Jonah Jackson's another guy that I'm sure you guys are counting on that's not here yet. Is it kind of the same deal? Where same he's thing. Of, yeah. Absolutely, same thing. I'm working the same thing with him, watching video, install. He watches the practices. We go over them. So, again, when they get here, they can hit the ground run and there won't be no fall. What yeah. made Jonah an intriguing prospect as a graduate transfer from your vantage point? The fact that he's really a intelligent, tough football player. That was the first thing I liked about him. Then I watched him in our game block our guys last year, and he, he did a hell of a job. And I said, wow, that kid want, he was interested in us and, and reached out to him, and here's an intelligent kid who's really tough, academic, all Big Ten, uh, honorable mention, all Big Ten as a player. And, and to add a guy, when just like you said, I'm losing all that experience, to have a guy that now has three years of experience coming in, it was a huge bonus. It Greg can play like multiple. Go ahead. Go ahead, Laura. It sounds like you're – really pleased with some individual performances. Is, is all your progress toward developing a cohesive five going to be have, have to be done in the fall? The most, yes. Yeah, absolutely. Right now, because that five is not going to be together yet, you know, and I, some of the guys that are going to be in there, you know, meaning Thayer, you know, especially. I think Jonah's going to be one of those guys that's going to compete right off the bat and could possibly be in there. So the cohesiveness of the group that's playing Obviously, with they are out, it's not there. You're exactly right. So what we have to focus on is the development and building some depth. Like I said, building Nick Petit and, and Wyatt and Josh Myers, getting them as much experience as they can get, and then same thing with the other guys, and then try to find that cohesive group in the fall.